got a pair of pliers. We got a little hammer. I have a 10 millimeter ratchet and socket. 13 millimeter ratchet and socket. 13 millimeter wrench. 10 millimeter wrench. And a little cut razor thing. The first thing we're going to do is open the little box. There's a lot of stuff. It might get a little confusing. So we're going to take it slow. Try to make it easy. And the worst thing about a new deer stand is putting it together. Okay. This box has got your seat in it. We're going to set that out. It's got your seat plate. You want to set it right here with the seat. You have your seat swivel. Then we're going to all right, there's instructions and warnings and video. You've got your safety line, your harness. Here's all the bolts and hardware to use to put that stand together and put it on a tree. Now this is your rail covers. This Velcro cushion. We're going to put that out of the way. This is the uh, bungee. And what this bungee is for is when you're going from gun season to bow season, vice versa, is to hold your rails in place on that tree until you get the ratchet strap tightened. It's, it's just a convenience thing. But it is handy. All right. <clears throat> These are the ends of your rifle rails. All right, now these will go to the tree like this, but you can take these and put them out of the way. Okay. Your safety equipment, put it out of the way. Now we're gonna open this big old bag of bolts and stuff. And it's hot here, big time hot. Now that holds your tree brace, your lower tree brace on. This is your uh, your guide ropes for pulling it up, taking it down, and pulling your equipment up to you. This big strap there is for your middle tree brace, the second tree brace. This is foam to put on your ladder and a couple places on the stand to keep it good and quiet. This small ratchet strap is for your rail. This one is for the stand itself around the tree. And you have the ratchets to go with each one of those. These four knobs go to your gun rails. That's something we'll deal with later. Okay. The most important thing is to keep your nuts and bolts separated from one another. These small nylon washers, they're for your 10 millimeters. Big nylon washers is for your 13s. Okay, you're gonna have a little pack of metal washers that only goes to your seat. 
these two rubber pieces go on the sides of your seat. Put them on later. Okay. You have two short 10, 10 millimeter bolts. You want to keep those separate. They go to the actual stand. So you keep them by themselves. The pack of four short 10 millimeters. There's four of them. They go to the seat. So we're actually going to put four of those there. We'll put four of these metal washers there. You're going to have four left over. That's later on for the seat when you're putting it on the stand. Okay. These wing nuts. They go to your rails. That's adjustment knobs. We're going to put them right back there. You don't need them right now. Okay. You got a big pack of 10 millimeters. That's mainly your ladder bolts. Keep them, keep, keep them separate. See, the two's a tad shorter and there's a special place for them to go. You got four long 10 millimeter bolts. Those go to your gun rails. Just keep them by themselves over there. Okay, now we're getting into some thirteens. Just keep each pack separate. You won't have no problem. And basically what you have is you have these 13 millimeters they will either go through three pieces of steel, two pieces of steel, or one piece of steel. There's your nuts to go with the 13. These are the pack that goes through the double bars. Then you've got two 10 millimeters that are long by their cell. Just put them right there with the short one. Okay. These short 13s, you can put them together. That's the only ones you want to join up. Now you got two wing nuts. They go to your ladder braces. Put them by their cell. And here is all your 10 millimeter nuts here. We'll pull them out right there. Right. The first thing we're gonna do is try to get rid of some of this where it's not as confusing. You got your big box open. These are your side rails. Ladder braces and gun rails. That goes in the back of the stand. Anyway, you come over here and find all these tubes. These go to your ladder and once that goes to the stand. All right. All right, first thing, take your razor, take your strip of foam. And you basically just gonna cut this stuff up in pieces about like that. The whole thing. You may have a few left over. That's fine, as long as you got some left over. Okay, you can cut it. All right, when you get all your foam cut up, what you're going to do, take the back off of it. And these tubes, where you have your holes, take a piece of that, put it right there, inside on all four sides to do that to every tube each tube will have four pieces of tape in it yeah. all right. you you've got your tubes you've got your little pieces inside all your tubes you have a few left over just put them there cut these out of the way okay 
I decided to put glasses on to see something, so hot as it is, I gotta have it. We're gonna take the seat. Now this is your seat belt plate. Right there's your holes. What you're gonna do, take your swivel and just cock it where you can get to your hole. Put these four washers and these four bolts together. You're gonna put your plate up. You're gonna put your swivel there and you're gonna bolt it down. And it's got brass threads in the seat. You ain't gotta kill it. Tighten them up good. But remember, your threads is brass. You just line it up and put them in. Alright, cut that. Go. Alright, just to clarify, you've had, I think it was eight steel flat washers, and you had a pack of four of the shortest bolts. Now I set them over there by the seat when we was unpacking this. That, that's what you're going to use. You're going to use four of your washers and the four short bolts. It's going to go through the swivel and the seat belt plate. And you just snug them up good, kind of rotate around. Don't strip the thread to them. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and build out the ladders. That's going to take a lot of bolts off the table. Less confusion. I can cut that. Okay, back to the tubes. Take each tube and slide it on your ladder. You can just put the ladder, keep it together, three pieces. Two of them, you're gonna go on your, one section ladder is wider, that's the top piece. Now what you wanna do, just take it, slide them down, get them out of the way. But they're easy to forget to put on there, so just go ahead and do it first thing when you're doing these. You're going to take this pile of ladder bolts and you're going to put two nylon washers and remember when you're putting it together run every bolt to where the end of the thread is away from you. So you'll come in here, find your holes, wherever they may be there. And you go ahead and what I do is I just put a hand tight, a good hard crank. <clears throat> and they won't come off while you're, just stick your hand there and give it a little crank and they won't come off when you're toting that thing to the woods. The worst thing, to lose a nut when you're in the woods. That's how it look. Do every one of them, except those. Just leave those alone. Get, get the ladder done. Set them out of the way. Cut. Uh, one thing I failed to mention is when you get your bolts on your ladder, this is what it's gonna look like. All right, we send two rolls of grip tape, which you, you should have a little left over if you ever need it. If you tear one off, but you take this thing, just measure it off, cut your grip tape, kind of aggravating, but you know, it's got that back on it that you got to get off. My glass is fogging up. We're having an October heat wave. So you'll take those, just kind of center them up the best you can. Put them on there and then just press her down. You'll do this to each run and then you'll come do it to your actual top piece of ladder for your stand. 
Right. Okay, here's what she looks like. You have nice grip tape on your ladders. On this ladder, now you're gonna set these to the side. Cut it. Alright. Next thing we're gonna do is rifle rails. And remember, when you're putting these rails together, your adjustments are gonna be to the inside. You want to lay them out to where your adjustment knobs for your height is on the inside. Remember, that's how it's going to look on that tree. You're going to be inside these rails here. So you want them pointing into the tree. And over here, you had four long 10 millimeter bolts. There they are. They go here. Go ahead and get your washers for the four and your nuts. That's 10 millimeter. Remember, when you're when you're setting in your tree, <clears throat> this thing here is a hanger. So you imagine yourself setting in that tree, and this is gonna be on the tree, and you're gonna hang stuff to so make sure it's on the inside. Just in here, same way. Setting there like that on the tree. Put this under. Always I'm trying to think of how to nut it won't go on good. There we go. So you're gonna put these together, both of them just like this. Okay. Over here in the pile, I told you you had these wing bolts. Now the wing bolts go on the outside here. And what these do is whatever tree you got, whether it's leaning towards you, it may be leaning out a little bit, you can adjust that rifle rail wherever you need it and then lock it down. So you go ahead and put those in. Okay. And on the back, the height adjustment, you have your knobs. You got four of these knobs, bolt with plastic in. And you're going to put these there. And that's what your rifle rails are going to look like. And you just tighten it all up. Now, while I go to explain to you this bungee, when you're up in the tree and you get your rail height, you wrap this bungee around these rails here. And all that thing does is holds these rails on that tree where you want it until you get your ratchet strap on. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. We're gonna bolt all this together, cut. All right, here's what they look like when you're done. Adjustment knob, that's your height adjustment knob. Okay, now you take a ratchet. And the straps, one of the short straps. Take that strap. Put it around one of them, either one with your right hand or left hand. 
put them both on one side. Now what you're going to do is when you get it in the tree, you're going to run this strap around the tree through here, back around. And just, just leave your bungee on there and then ratchet around tight. We're going to leave these. And what I do, I take these to the woods and I pull them up and put them on last. And your cushion that goes around each one of these, you put it on after you install them because you, everybody's tree is going to be different and these things are going to be out more. So whenever you get it where you want it, go ahead and put your cushion around it. Then you can take them off and strap them in to bow hunt. When gun season comes in, you just take them off, they're ready to go, set them down. Now the back rail is stationary, so you can go ahead and put the cushion around your back rail. And it just velcros around it. Your, your other two knobs will go on the inside of these. And you'll have all your rails done, and we're going to set them aside. All right. Now right, here's your rear rifle rail and you get your pad on, go ahead and put your two knobs in it, that's what you got right there. It's going to sit on the back of that stand just like that. We'll just move this. I'm building the stand. You recording? You recording? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to start building the stand. Now look at the pile. That ain't too confusing looking. We got rid of a whole lot of bolts there that'll make you go crazy. So what you're going to need, you got four steel washers. You're going to need four of these 10 millimeter ladder bolts. And you're going to put in there. That's to put the seat onto the stand later. So then it's basically out of the way, and this is what you got to deal with. You got a bunch of 13s and a, and a few 10 millimeters left. Okay, now we're going to put together the ladder braces. Now, the, the back pieces that go to the ladder are the same length. The only difference is the length of the pieces that go to the tree. Now this long one, it's for the bottom. That's where your ladder is the furthest away from the tree. You're going to be set. And the shorter one are going up about halfway. They don't have to be as long. Now what you got here is up under these ladder braces. You have your other two wing bolts. And that goes in here to adjust your ladder braces. take your pile of 13s and you take two of these shorter 13s out and you've got two wing nuts. That's where they go. It's going to be in a ladder run here. The front of this thing, you're going to take this short piece of rope and you're going to tie this part to the tree with this rope. We'll go ahead and put it on when it's ready. When we get to the woods, we don't have to. Wonder where it's at or lose it on the way. Go ahead and tie it to it. Okay. Now, your second one, since it's up high and you can't reach it, you're going to take 
this long strap and a ratchet. You're going to put, actually, you're going to come up a tree. probably do it at probably the second joint. You put your strap on the ladder and then you put your ratchet on the ladder. Now one of the guys is actually holding this stand on the tree. You take a break and he'll run this around for you, hand it to you. This will be around the tree. You'll pull it through here and tighten this thing to the tree. Don't go crazy because it's got a bolt in it. Just snug it up and it'll be fine. If it gets a little loose, you put it, give it a click. And that's the ladder brace. All right, you can cut that. All right, we got the stand laid out. Now we put together, we just got the parts here. <clears throat> now, the first thing you do, make sure your sleeves is on. You take these pieces here. If you're left-handed, you can take this pin off and put it on the other side. But take these, just put it up there, give it a pop. We usually put this on the right hand side. Put it on there. Do a wrap. Then you want to take these sleeves and then slide them up. Alright. The two the two short 10 millimeter screws that come by their cell, that's when you need them. You put one nylon washer and that's it. Now you're gonna put it here in the bottom hole on each side and what this is for is you it, it barely fits and when you tighten it up the thread should come out about even with the nut and that's when your legs passing by here is you ain't gonna have something catching your pants You got four of them. Get two of those. Get four washers for two bolts, two nuts. Okay. <clears throat> Your foot platform. We'll line up with these holes in the ladder here. And you always want your bolts away from the hand. Now, to simplify, this is your hanger for your gun, bow, whatever you need, bag. Now you need to go ahead and get it in here because there's several bolts go through here. If you forget it, then you gotta take them all out and put it back on. And again, if you're left-handed, you put it on this side. But if you're right-handed, you're gonna slide it in here. And here's your other one. Now this one don't have anything on. But before you do that, 
these leftover pieces of foam. What? What's the clicking? <laughs> foam. These leftover pieces of foam, you can put them in here. Stick your couple in there, no matter if they're sticking out or whatever. Just get them in there. Take your bone that's left over and put it here at the ends of these seat brackets. Alright, there you go. Now, <clears throat> you can slide that in there. Nice and snug. Take the other one. Slide it in. Alright, not done. You won't forget it. Okay. Now, this little brace goes from here down to here. You're going to take a regular ladder bolt, the two that's left over, and you're going to put the two nylon washers on each. And a nut, and that's almost perfect not to catch your pants. I see when you tighten that up, you ain't gonna have much bolt sticking out. Same thing on the other side. <clears throat> go ahead and get it in there. There's a hole cut out in this foot part for the thing to go in. Make sure it's in there before you get to make sure it stays in there, I'll say. Alright, when you get both of your foot platform braces on there, there, then you'll take the second size bolt. You'll need two of them. Alright, you can just raise this up till you get the holes lined up. and put them in both sides. Okay, when you get that, your foot brace will slide over these two bolts. That's when you go ahead and put your uh, washers and your nuts. And remember, don't tighten anything until you get done. Just put them on there and let them be. Okay, when you get that, you'll take, you got two braces that look just like this. That goes from the seat brace down to your ladder and through the here. So you'll take another long, one of your long bolts. Find that middle hole and go ahead and put it through this part first. Right here you might have to
Okay. I'm going to put the other side together and we'll come back to it. Four long bolts. Here they are. You, they're going through three pieces of metal here, three pieces of metal here, two on the other side. That takes up them four long ones. Now you got four of the middle ones left over. All right. Okay. Once, once you get your foot braces on, you come back up here. Now this is that long brace we put in. You get one of the shorter 13 millimeters and you drop it in. You do both of the top ones first. Okay, for the bottom, same thing. Two of the shorter 13 millimeters. Sometimes there's a little trick to it. What I normally do, turn the stand around. You push down here on the foot platform, just a little bit to get it through like that. Usually it's a little tight. Okay, you got your braces down here on. Now we're going to back it off a little bit. And you got a side brace for your foot. You're going to take the short 13 millimeters and put them on. And the way that goes is the short side goes to the step and then fit right there into that ladder. Okay, now you take another short one. Remember to put, put the threads to the outside and put it This is the seat, this part here. Your two pieces of rubber, go on that, make them quiet. Now right, for the seat, use the uh, one of the, two of the four, that was like about a two and a half, three inch bolt. Now you use three of these, and I'm gonna show you on this side. And what you want is you want a bushing between this and your seat. So when you stick that bolt through, you're going to hang a washer there for when you get the seat up. It'll slip through there and the seat will actually hinge on that bushing. Okay. That's what's going on. When, when you get it out the other side, put another nylon washer on it. You gotta line it up, sometimes a little aggravating. You have to help. Now when you're tightening these, but you'll tighten them up last, 
you want to tighten it to the point that the seat, you have to pull it up and down instead of it flopping. Now when I get to this point, the seat is made to be sat on for that pin will go in it. And that's to keep it quiet. So go ahead and pin it before you start tightening everything to help keep it square. Now, one of the, one of the last pieces, you have a straight bar. And what that does, it goes across the back. It'll actually stop the seat and keeps the platform square. You'll use these last two 13 millimeters. Okay, these two small curved pieces, what they're for is to hang your rail on. You just slide them on the back like so, and you'll have two, these two, they come in the pack by themselves, long 10 millimeter, and that's where we put them. Stick them away from you. Come on, take it to the woods, I usually have a back rail on it. Just something less to tote. And you can adjust how high or low you want it when you get in the wood. You can just tighten that up and it's, it's on there. You'll, you'll slide it down or either take it on and put your side rails on to score down how you want. All right, last thing is the seat. And your four ladder bolts that we moved over here are ready for them. Now what I normally do is I'll put double Teflons and a steel washer as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have. Right. Now, <clears throat> we still got our plate turned where we can get to the holes. What you'll do, set that baby right on the top. Turn it wherever you need to turn it. You run these bolts from the bottom up. Just like that. It's just a matter of sliding. Sliding and turning it until you you know, moving it around so you can get get to it with your fingers. Pick pick your seat up a little bit. 
so you can see what's going on. How to get it through the holes there. And you kind of move it around to get it on there. Then tighten it up. But just remember to tighten all your bolts when you get done. Just start at the bottom, go around. You'll have one, two, three sets of 10 millimeters, the rest of them's 13. You don't sweat to death and die before you get it put together. All right, got it.